The city of Hamilton has closed part of Ferry Street in the north end and asked neighbors to leave their homes over concerns a house under construction could collapse. Emily Taylor joins us live from the scene with the details. Good evening, Emily. Good evening, Taz. We're just off of John Street North here, where part of the road is closed off. The house behind me under construction here has actually begun to lean towards its next door neighbor. The house at 75 Ferry Street East in Hamilton's north end towers over its neighbors. The building has been under construction for several months, but last night the city of Hamilton says an off-duty inspector noticed something was wrong. Obviously, there's some significant deflection in the, in the wall and some movement, some racking, uh, movement of the first and second floors. So racking really is just kind of a, a diagonal twist of walls and framing structures. So it's just it was a, a bit of movement of the second floor assembly causing the, the main and second floors to start to lean. Next door neighbors on either side were asked to find somewhere else to stay out of an abundance of caution. Ferry Street has also been closed from John Street North to Catherine Street, blocked by metal fencing. Neighbors tell CHCH News they only found out about the problem when they spotted the fences. Could have been around 8 or 9, 10 o'clock. No money sent a word. Construction crews are on scene this afternoon trying to make sure the building is stable. It's not yet clear what caused the building to shift. Crews are focusing on making sure it's safe to enter before they can really start the inspection. The city issued building permits to this address in August of 2022. The documents show the owner lives in Mississauga and expected construction to cost $1.9 million. The city doesn't know what will happen to the building once it's stabilized, whether it can be rebuilt or if they'll need to tear it down. So before we can even consider any demolition or um, repairs to the existing building, we do have to stabilize it. So we, we couldn't even go in there and start the demolition process without making it safe for somebody to enter. Ferry Street will be closed from John Street North down to Catherine Street until further notice. The city tells me they hope to have it all wrapped up in a couple of days, but they are having trouble reaching the owner of the building. Back to you.